The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John C. Maxwell emphasizes this simple thesis. Your personal growth determines how well you lead. He stresses the basic principles that makes or breaks a leader and highlights the importance of the journey towards becoming a leader, or even just reaching your full potential. And now, a few words from the author. For 35 years, I've been on a personal growth plan and I've had people continually ask me, John, how do I grow? That's why I finally wrote the 15 Laws of Growth book. It helps people know how to start growing, how to keep growing, because what I've learned and what I've discovered is that growth is happiness, and when we grow ourselves, everything around us begins to grow also. Law 1, the Law of Intentionality. Growth doesn't just happen, it's stimulated. When it comes to actually starting the growth journey, many people find excuses to constantly put it off. Maxwell defines these excuses as gaps, which include the fear that people feel when they move forward, the obstacles they might face. Some gaps deal with the common excuses, having no time, having no motivation. Other gaps highlight the fear of being judged by other people. To overcome these gaps and to start growing, Maxwell emphasizes on actually getting started instead of wasting time dwelling on everything that could go wrong. Having the intention to begin the growth process is the first step towards success. Law 2. The Law of Awareness you must know yourself to grow yourself. If someone tries to start growing without knowing what they are reaching for, then they have no purpose to improve themselves. Maxwell categorizes people according to their awareness into three categories. Those who don't know what their passion is have no sense of direction as to where to go in life. Those who know their passion but don't act upon it are frustrated because every day they face the gap of where they are and where they want to be. But those who know their passion and make it come true possess focus and purpose. They can stimulate their passion by asking these questions. Question 1. Do you like what you are doing? Many people in the world are afraid to pursue their dream in fear of failing. However, would you rather be miserable for the rest of your life or take the risk for happiness? Question 2. What do you want to do? A very basic but crucial step in the process is being aware of your passion. A leader always starts with knowing with what they want to do, so then they can start planning for the journey of growing to become the best at what they want. If you don't know what you want to do, then there is no way for you to grow. Question 3. Can you do what you would like to do? People everywhere have wild dreams of achieving fame or fortune. However, many of them do not have the right skills to reach that. These are known as dreams spun out of thin air. It has no real connection to their actual passion in life. Before pursuing a goal, you must ask yourself if it will give you sincere satisfaction, if you have the ability to pursue it, and if your reason for pursuing it is realistic. Question 4. Do you know why you want to do what you would like to do? The right motive you have over chasing after your dream plays a big part in the success of it. Someone with the right motives and reasons will maintain positive relationships and a stable inner strength. Someone with the wrong intentions driven by greed or selfishness will eventually fall into failure. Leaders are not hasty when they are deciding what to pursue. They take the time to think and explore their intentions in order to make the right choice. Question 5. Do you know what to do so you can do what you want to do? Maxwell stresses that one must first be aware of how to reach his dream. He must also begin to get ahead in the growth process and take action in doing something daily to get closer to his goal. Also, making his goals public would put the pressure on him to keep working at it and force him to keep up with the process. Eventually, he will start attracting people like himself and be in a community of like-minded people who help each other succeed. Question 6. Do you know people who do what you'd like to do? No one starts off knowing everything they need to know in order to reach a goal. They have models and examples all around them who can teach and help them grow into their dream. But you should also make sure your model has a good public life as well as a good private life that you look up to. Law 3. The Law of the Mirror You must see value in yourself to add value to yourself. If you think you are not capable of growing to your full potential, then no one else will. Having high self-esteem is a crucial factor in growing. Having a good personal outlook will result in a good personal growth. Seeing yourself as worth the time and effort will spur you to add value to yourself. Constantly comparing yourself to others and putting yourself down will only set you up for failure. You must be confident in your decisions and ability to grow into a great leader. Moving beyond what you believe you can do will change your self-limiting thinking into self-expanding thinking. However, this does not mean to completely focus on yourself. Make a difference. Adding value to others will make them value you right back. Law 4. The Law of Reflection Learning to pause allows growth to catch up with you. Stop and reflect on your journeys and experiences. What did you learn from them? Deep reflection turns experience into insight. Understanding why it happened and what it was trying to teach can save you from making the same mistakes again. It also gives you an update on your growth project. Is it going as well as you hope it be? 
Maxwell introduces the four basic directions in stopping to reflect on past experiences. The first one is investigation. Pausing means much more than just slowing down. It means to actually stop and ask questions. Growing continually comes from learning continually from your mistakes and experiences, discovering the truths and principles in them. The second direction is incubation. Incubation is taking an experience and meditating on it. It requires listening and learning. Give the thought process time to roll around in your brain. Effective reflection is not done through speeding through it. Illumination is when you have a sudden realization or insight on an experience. This is where the light bulb is turned on, the reward for spending the time committing to your thoughts and reflection. The final direction is illustration. This is a process of putting flesh on your ideas. Without any details or substance, a lesson is nothing but a skeleton. Maxwell also suggests digging deep not only in your thoughts, but yourself. This will help you discover what kind of person you really are, and forces you to reflect on your growth journey. Law 5. The Law of Consistency Motivation gets you going. Discipline keeps you growing. To maintain your success in life, it is crucial to maintain your performance. To do so, you must become more disciplined and consistent in your growth level. Maxwell provides a list of four questions one can ask about his growth. 1. Do you know what you need to improve? In order to improve, you must know what to fix in order to become better at it. Improving yourself with daily rituals will expand your horizons, your opportunities, and your potential. 2. Do you know how you are supposed to improve? The common formula of improving is usually a combination of knowledge, experience, and coaching. Match your motivation to your personality and character type. Maxwell introduces many different kinds of people and their weaknesses in their personality, but also stresses that they can combat that by focusing on the goal in mind and using their strengths. 3. Do you know why you want to keep improving? Having a strong reason to keep growing and learning keeps you connected to your purpose and dream. You will be more likely to follow through the stronger reason you have. 4. Do you know when you are supposed to improve? The final step is determining when you need to improve, which is right now. Laziness is the enemy of consistency. Instead of putting it off day by day, take action and work on it day by day. Law 6. The Law of Environment Growth thrives in conducive surroundings. A good environment with a good atmosphere will spur your growth and bring positive results. In order to find the right environment that simulates your growth, you must first analyze where you are now. What are your reasons for wanting to change your environment? To find an environment that fits your growing pace and level, you must change yourself as well as your environment so that your own personal growth will be faster and more successful. It is also important to change who you spend time with. Associate with people who are at a higher level than you so that you can learn something from them. Keep on going even if someone puts you down. Don't seek the approval of others because they do not know what you need to grow. Only you do. Law 7. The Law of Design To maximize growth, develop strategies. Most people let their lives simply happen. They accept events as they come. However, to maximize your growth rate and potential, you must plan and develop strategies in order to take control of your life. Instead of focusing on one goal or one factor of your life, concentrate on your life as a whole. Keep a schedule and develop practices that keep you on track. Effective systems include looking at the big picture, not just the little details that make it up. It also takes your priorities into consideration. What will you like to give the most time to? It includes measurement and application. Having your results measured will give a clearer picture on how you grew from it. It should also spur you to take action and consistently work on becoming a better leader. Law 9. The Law of the Ladder Good management of bad experiences lead to great growth. Everyone makes mistakes and has bad experiences. However, mistakes are perhaps the best way to learn and grow. To turn your pain into something useful, you must first choose a positive life stance, which is a set of attitudes and expectations people hold. This enables you to take the bad experiences and turn them into positive growth. Embrace the value of negative experiences. See that a lesson comes out of each one and make a positive change in order to avoid any more. These experiences will further enrich your growing ability by filling it with knowledge and value. Law 9. The Law of the Ladder Character growth determines the height of your personal growth. You have to recognize that you must change your character in order to add to your growth process. Focus on being better on the inside than on the outside, because what is on the inside determines your success on the outside. It is also crucial to remember that people and passion matter. Prompt yourself to focus on other people. Your outside success is determined by them. If you are not truly passionate about what you are teaching, they will sense that and stop believing in you. If you desire to grow and reach your full potential, you must pay more attention to your character than to your success. Law 10. The Law of the Rubber Band 
Growth stops when you lose attention between where you are and where you could be. In order to keep growing, you must keep reaching out of your comfort zone. Have the desire to stretch your potential and achieve newer, better things. Not a lot of people are willing to go the extra mile in order to achieve better results. But settling for average and staying in one area forever will only stop your growth process. However, if you take risks and chances to improve your ability, then the tension will keep growing. Without changing to challenge yourself, you will never reach your full potential. Law 11. The Law of Trade-Offs You have to give up to grow up. Many people are not willing to sacrifice anything to grow. They want success without the hard work. But we must learn to see trade-offs as opportunities for improvement and growth. It always requires change, like giving up some of your time to work on your growth. However, do not make any hasty trade-offs that will soon be regretted. It's true that the loss of the trade-off is felt long before the return, but you must ask yourself if it's worth it in the end. Trading something for success and personal growth is always worth the effort. Law 12. The Law of Curiosity Growth is stimulated by asking why. Curiosity equals someone's thirst for knowledge, the constant state of wanting to learn more. To cultivate curiosity, you must first have a beginner's mindset. Having this kind of attitude makes you open to any ideas you come across. You are not influenced by any previous thoughts. Curiosity is contagious. Spend time with people who ask lots of questions to stimulate your own. Don't be afraid to ask questions, even if they may seem foolish. When you are curious, the whole world opens up to you and there are few limitations to what you can learn and how you can grow. Law 13. The Law of Modeling It's hard to improve when you have no one but yourself to follow. Having a good mentor will provide you with someone you can look up to. While looking for any role models, you must keep in mind that they will be influencing your values and principles. Choose carefully. Make sure your mentor is available and matches your stage of your career. Work your way up to the best mentor you can find according to your growth rate. Their understanding, knowledge, and experience will show that they have wisdom and can help you during times of trouble. A good mentor should offer his support. He should feel like a close friend. Law 14. The Law of Expansion Growth always increases your capacity. Great leaders never stop growing and improving. To increase your capacity to grow, you must keep thinking about how you can become better at what you do. Start doing new things in order to improve yourself. Don't stick with what you have done before. Discover new ways to improve your growth and do the unexpected. It is also crucial to do important things daily instead of occasionally. Doing the right thing every so often merely wastes your time. Daily growth, however, leads to personal expansion. Law 15. The Law of Contribution Growing yourself enables you to grow others. It requires an abundance mindset, the belief that you will keep receiving in order to give. As long as you are dedicated to personal growth, you will never face scarcity and will always have something to give. Remember the people who gave to you in your early stages of growth, like your mentors. Be grateful for their help and return the favor to others. This allows them to achieve beyond what they could dream, with your help. This is also a way that your legacy can live through others. Throughout his whole book, Maxwell effectively expresses his principles on the 15 laws of growth. He categorizes each law into different sections, some of which have subsections, filled with questions one may ask while reading the book. He organizes the information so that it is easier to understand and to find. His words are concise, and he doesn't over-elaborate on everything or use any unnecessary words. However, many times he uses his own experiences or other people's experiences to provide as an example. Although this may help people to relate more, it would have been useful to see other sources. Statistics, polls, or any other tangible resources would have helped to solidify his principles and supported it much more. But overall, this book is a great way for us as students to find our true calling in life to effectively grow towards that goal.